insufficient HTTPS coverage on your site. In Google Search Console, report on the page experience on mobile may be complaining about HTTPS failing. In this video session, we're going to explore what this is. And before I move forward, this could actually be a glitch because it's been reported through the emails as well as from Rankia blog. So the Rankia fans saying, okay, my HTTPS is working correctly, but Search Console is complaining. Why is that? So I'm going to maintain a blog post. So if you're experiencing something like this on a WordPress site, simply comment, okay? So let's see what's going on here because the page experience on mobile is something new that Google Search Console has recently introduced. And right now, I made major changes on Rankia website. But the thing is, I actually know that I'm using valid SSL certificates and my URL structure is using HTTPS version. So let's go and see what Search Console is suggesting to us to do it to identify which URLs and so on and it is rather cumbersome if you're not technical but nonetheless I'll share some sample codes with you okay so on the page experience report insufficient HTTPS coverage on your site basically means somehow Google is visiting our website and landing pages and it's seeing URLs with just HTTP, right? So that's what insufficient HTTPS coverage is all about. But as I've said, I know that everything is working correctly. So therefore Search Console should not be picking this up. Now, if you have verified your website with Search Console perhaps two, three years ago, then recently Search Console has introduced domain verification method. So if you're using just a URL prefix instead of the domain version, then to remedy HTTPS failing, you need to now re-verify the domain property. That means you can have the URL prefix version. You don't have to delete that, but you can now choose the domain version. Okay. All you need to do is simply place your domain name here and then continue. Now I've already verified this and I'll show you how to go about it using let's say cPanel. I blurted some things out here. All you need to do is find zone editor then add a text record. Now this is cPanel version but I'm using DreamHost, so therefore I'll show you that text record. All you need to do is insert the code that Search Console will create specifically for your website. Okay. Now, once you do that, then you have access to the data on a different level, so to speak. Search Console help section is telling us to make sure that we have verified using domain property. Then it's telling us to press on performance reports. It's telling us to add a filter, select page. Here it says URL containing. Let's go and select HTTP version. We can just place HTTP and colon. Let's apply to see, okay, which URLs you are aware of Search Console that has HTTP. As you can see, there is no data here. And yet, Page Experience is saying insufficient HTTPS coverage on my website. So if you're experiencing something like this, keep in mind, it could actually be a glitch because it's something new in Search Console, okay? Now, what else can you do to sleep better, so to speak? Simply visit your website and request your website using 
just HTTP version. Let's do that. And at that moment, it should redirect and you should see a lock icon. Now, if that's not the case, then it's to do with your website setup. I'll actually show you a sample code that you may consider using if you're using self-installed WordPress sites. But most websites built on Apache servers do have .htaccess file. So wherever your website is installed, you can read the help section of your web hosting provider. And basically, in .htaccess file, you can use 3i1 redirection to redirect the non-http version of request to HTTPS version. That means if you browse throughout your website and you can access some pages using HTTP version and it's not redirecting, then .htaccess file is an option for you to make sure your website is set up correctly. Once again, you need to read through your web hosting service providers help section to learn how to redirect URLs. Furthermore, let's also test this now. And you can actually do this as well. If you're using www for your web pages, then you can actually remove the www and request the non secure version to see what happens. Because at this moment, if I request this page as it is, it should actually redirect to www version and it should be using HTTPS, as you can see. So that should be the case for your website setup as well. What other tests can we do? Let's go and do this. Let me go and select a blog post just to show you the importance of testing different web pages throughout your website. Because the page experience report looks at you know, all the URLs of a website. Because let's imagine my home page is using HTTPS, it's all good. My contact page or other important pages is using HTTPS. And yet, let's imagine the blog post is not using HTTPS because that could happen. Make sense? So just because you test the home page or some couple of other pages doesn't mean you've tested everything. Instead, if you have blog posts, go and test them as well. Using Web Developer Toolbar, we can press on F12 using Chrome Browser. And then we can press on Network, refresh the page. While here, let me show you a trick to remove the cache version. Simply press on the Refresh icon and then select Empty Cache and Hard Reload. Let's do that. Okay, where are we? Yes. Okay. So this is the page that has been requested. We are looking at network tab using Google Chrome developer toolbar. If you're using Firefox or Internet Explorer, they do give you that option as well. As in simply press on F12 on your keyboard and then locate the URL as in the page and then look at the header response codes. Here you should be seeing HTTPS. If it isn't, then you know it's to do with your website setup. Make sense? Status codes should be 200. If you're seeing something like 301, then that's what Google is also seeing. Make sense? Okay. So if you're using plugins such as really simple SSL, or if you're not using WordPress and you're using some other content management systems, all you need to do is triple make sure that your website and sample pages within it cannot be accessed using non-secure version. 
because if it is then you need to set things up correctly and I've just shown you .htaccess file example for Apache servers for self-installed WordPress you can place this code rather safely but remember anytime you modify code on the server you need to have backups we are looking at .htaccess file because so from here you can do control the redirections as well now apart from that once you follow these insights and you are still seeing insufficient HTTPS coverage on your site in Google search console comment on rank your blog and let's see where this goes because the new page experience will in coming months affect our Google rankings so therefore we want to make sure that core web vitals mobile usability security issues HTTPS failing or not failing all these should be all green or else we will lose Google rankings and as I've said um, previously this could actually be a glitch from Google's site I thank you very much for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.